we're doing Raider Spotlight where um, you pick a random person from the school and then you uh, interview them and ask random questions. Yeah. But this week, I'm doing the coach interview for Coach Kearney. He's the swim and dive coach. So right now, I'm doing some color grading for the interview coach. So we're currently in the culinary room, the kitchen, and we are filming them making spinach artichoke dip. Um, I'm doing athlete spotlight. I'm currently putting all the clips, and then tomorrow I'll find the music so like it kind of like synchronizes with the video. I'm editing for one of the segments right now, Riddle of the Week, where we go around and ask people in the cafeteria a riddle. We're doing the It's Science segment. We just finished filming yesterday, so right now we're just editing all the clips together. So we are doing the club spotlight on National Spanish Honor Society. And right now we just finished our interview and I'm putting the clips in and I'm about to start editing. Good morning, Alfreda. I'm Noah. And I'm Harsh. And, and this, this is, is your morning, morning show. This week we'll learn about National Honor Society, sit down with Asimov and talk with Coach Kearney and more. Our boys and girls basketball team takes on John's Creek tonight. It's senior night. Tonight, girls and boys soccer will have a scrimmage at South Carolina at 6 p.m. Girls lacrosse takes on Kings Ridge at home tonight at 6 p.m. Tomorrow, varsity wrestling will have regionals at Lassner High at 9.30 a.m. Track and field will have time trials tomorrow at 12 p.m. Our baseball team heads to Norcross for a game at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Show up, support all our Raiders sports. Are you a singer, dancer, poet, or performer? If so, try out for AHS International Night. Auditions are being held this Monday at 3.30 in the cafeteria. Scan this QR code to sign up or email Ms. Viafora if you have any questions. Do you want to volunteer at International Night and represent the country of your choice? Scan this QR code to sign up. Do you like movies or TV shows and want to learn more about how they're made and possibly get a job on set? Well representatives from the Georgia Film Academy will be here on February 27 to discuss the application process and how the film industry continues to grow. They are located at the Trillith Movie Studios here in Georgia. Sign up by February 23rd by scanning this QR code today. Hello, my name is Natalie and I am one of the Black Student Union's Communication Officers. BSU will start Black History Month with a bang this afternoon at 4 p.m. for Movie Night featuring Just Mercy. If you have not reserved your spot, do it now and don't miss out on yummy popcorn and time to view a spectacular movie right here in Mr. K's room. Have a fun-filled night with a movie, popcorn, and after attend the AHS Senior Night Basketball Game starting at 6 p.m. Celebrating Black History Month, every Friday there will be a segment spotlighting AHS's very own staff and teachers of Did You Know I Am Black History? Let's get it started and see if you know who this is. I am from the Windy City, Chicago, Illinois, and attended Illinois State University for my undergraduate education. A BA in education, my master's in curriculum and instruction, and earned my second master's degree in educational leadership. Some of my greatest professional accomplishments include successfully working at all levels of pre-secondary education, elementary through district offers, and reaching my goals at each level. I enjoy spending quality family time, traveling out of the country, and working my finance and real estate businesses. My favorite black historian is W.E.B. Du Bois because I respect, honor, and appreciate all of his leadership endeavors and as well as what he's accomplished through the first development of the NAACP. I am Assistant Principal Errol Dice and I am Black History. What's up, Alpharetta? I'm Anthony. And I'm Emmanuel. And this is It's Science. And today we're making elephant toothpaste. First step, safety. First step, safety. <laughs> okay. Alright. Next step, add 100 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. Alright. Yeah, that's good. That looks like a good amount. Next, a squeeze of dish soap. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Alright. That that's what causes the foam from the experiment to foam. Really? Yeah. Okay. Next step, you want to add your food coloring. We're doing purple, so we're going to add a little mix of red and blue. This is optional, by the way. Sure. Just want to add a little bit. Oh, shoot. That's a lot. All right, I don't know. 
Okay, bro. That's a lot. Now it just looks black. Next step, a sack of the yeast. Sat pack of yeast. Okay, Tony. Ooh. Now you want to have key. four tablespoons of water. You, you want to do it? Yeah, I guess. Three, two, one. <laughs> Squeeze it. No. Oh, oh. oh, it worked, sort of. Oh. It, it kind of worked. Three, two, one. Oh, let's go. <laughs> two. No. Oh. We have to clean this here. Oh, my God. Oh, no, it's not on you. Dang. Oh, that was all for It's Science. Uh, See you next week. Have a good one, Raiders. My name's Addie Wolf, and I'm in ninth grade. Oh, Jennifer Lawrence. Because she's in really cool movies, and she's really funny, and she has, like, a really good personality, and her job seems fun, and it's really fun to be around her, so... My sister, Olivia, my friend, Elaine, and my cat, Flynn, because my sister is, like, kind of helpful, so I guess she could be a little useful. And my friend, Elaine, she's fun to be around, so she would make it really fun to be on the island, and my cat is also fun to be around, and I love my cat, so I'd want to be with him. I would buy a 1970 blue Ford Bronco and a big house and a lot of like animals, like cats. I really want a chinchilla and a ferret, so. The College of Charleston, because it's really pretty and I love the ocean and the ocean's there and the city's really pretty and the rainbow row. I want to live there. It's expensive. Like bowls. Any bowls like rice, broccoli. I love broccoli. And like chicken or fruits. My favorite fruit is watermelon and pineapple. Panera. I like their chicken noodle soup. It's really good. And the bowls and the bread. The bread is really good. My sister. I like, I like, like, we like the same things, and she's fun to be around, and she has really good grades in school, and she has a lot of friends, and she makes them easily, and she's really nice and funny, so I want to be like her. Hi, I'm uh, Coach Kearney. Um, I'm a teacher here. I teach uh, social studies and I've been teaching uh, AP World History. For swimming, um, we typically start with a dry land training and then we're in the pool uh, from 9 to 10 p.m. at night. In high school competition swimming, um, uh, our athletes are expected to swim uh, and be proficient in four strokes. You have um, the freestyle, um, you have backstroke, you have butterfly, uh, and you also have breaststroke. Uh, and all the strokes, uh, they vary in distance, like for example, freestyle. Um, for swimmers, you might have some sprinters that do a very short distance. Um, just the pool length, just down and back, for example, that is a 50 yard freestyle. Um, and then we have swimmers that swim uh, much further. Uh, for example, 20 laps of the pool, um, that would be a 500 yard freestyle. The Alpharetta Swim and Dive Team is actually one of the largest um, athletic clubs here uh, at the high school. Um, we have over 70 kids uh, on the team. Certainly a lot of logistics go into running uh, a program that size. Um, luckily, I get um, help here in the building uh, from Andrew Bolin. Kids enjoy uh, the social aspect of it. It's such a large team. We have really a great group of kids. Um, and we also do socials and just kind of team building activities, which the kids really enjoy. My name is Aiden, and this is Riddle of the Week. Last week's answer to Riddle of the Week. What can you break without ever picking it up or touching it? A promise? There we go. Now on to this week's riddle. What has to be broken before you can use it? Um, uh, a promise. An 
egg? Um, you know? A glow stick? <laughs> a glow stick? <laughs> what do you think? We'll go with a glow, glow stick. <laughs> oh, glow stick. What has to be broken before you can use it? I don't know. A heart? I don't know. What has to be broken before you can use it? An egg. Egg! <laughs> what cannot be used without breaking it? What cannot be used without breaking it? Um, a glow stick. What has to be broken before you can use it? An egg. Uh, my name is Noah Wheeler. Uh, I play fencing. I've been doing it since about sophomore year, and I think I might do it until my senior year. I'm not sure if I want to do it in the future or not, but um, it is definitely something I've considered. Saber, in my opinion, is the most interesting because it's more, um, I think it's more aggressive from what I've heard. Everyone has different play styles. There's people who are more defensive. There's people who are more aggressive. There's people who bait. There's people who are like rush and are patient to see what you're going to do. Um, it's a Sport that requires a lot of different play styles that make um, the whole thing very interesting because you never really know what you're going to go up against. The whole team is a mix up of boys and girls, so it's about 50-50 um, of each, I think. I think there's about an equal number of both. It's about like 15, maybe 17 of each. My favorite part is probably like the adrenaline at tournaments. When you, it's because you never really know who you're going to go up against. It's more of just, um, it's, it's, it's curious watching other people's play styles and trying to learn how you're going to handle that because people do the same to you they'll watch you fence and trying to learn how you'll play so you'll have to mix it up a bit because if you just do the same thing over and over again then they'll counter and marry welcome to chef's table today we are going to go to culinary to see what they're making tortillas they'll puff up and um, it'll form like a pocket instead of just being a flat chip. <laughs> then we're gonna like mix it together. This is cream cheese and and sour wait cream and sour cream. Now she is combining ingredients. Spinach artichoke. Personally, this will be my first time trying it. Oh, okay. Do you think you'll like it? I think I'll like it. Into pan. Okay, so the spinach is gonna be in there for 20 minutes. Then we'll be back. 20 minutes later. In 8.5. 8.5. Uh, the sophomore forgot to turn the mic on. We asked everybody. They all said it was good. 10 out of 10. Hey, I'm Miss Perkins, and one of the clubs I sponsor here at Alfreda is National Honor Society. So NHS stands for National Honor Society, and it's a club here at school that allows students to participate in service hours around their community and at the school. So at the beginning of your junior year, um, you'll get an email if you qualify, and then um, you'll submit an application if you're interested in joining the club and see if we think you'd be a good fit. So NHS offers a lot of service opportunities. Um, so we have different ones where you work with cleanups, you can participate in like river cleanups or like patio cleanups, specifically depending upon like your your service interests um, and then fulfill your club requirements that way. So the Creekview Mentorship is one of the opportunities we give our students to fulfill their tutoring hours. Um, and what you'll do is you fill out a form 
and the person who's in NHS will select all the subjects they feel confident enough to tutor in um, and you get to connect with younger students in our community. So I think NHS is a really great opportunity for those who are looking to give back, um, whether that be like through tutoring others or from just service projects in general, you'll get to connect with students so you can make really good strong connections to use um, outside of the club as well. That's all for today's show. We'll see you next week and have, have a, a great, great day, day out, Brett.